Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and let's jump in. Alright you guys, so I'm super excited because we are going to be using a Praise Gelex tip. It is in the color Macy. These are their new neutral tips that had just came out. Um, the shape and style that they're in is the sculpted long square ones and yeah so I went ahead and prepped my nails off camera and then now I'm going to apply them with the sensitive gel. I was super excited about these tips because I wanted to be able to cut down my time so cutting down the time would be amazing so with that being said I wanted to be able to prep these tips and have them ready for when my client comes in and have them in and out especially since it already has the base color on there and I like that because a lot of times I will use the other extend gels that they have and I would use those to put the color on but if you guys worked with this extend gel in the past you guys know it's a builder gel builder gels typically end up being very very thick and they're more stringy and stuff so working with them it takes some time to adhere them down but Something that I do want to mention with this is this, it doesn't have, you don't have to put a nude color down, they just pick the color that they like, and you are able to adhere them down. Something I do want to mention is it does take a little bit longer curing these down just because the pigment on the tips, it's, it just makes it take longer, but a good thing with that is that I feel like with me when I was doing this, I didn't experience such hot heat spikes. So, if you guys don't know what heat spikes are, they are just a chemical reaction that happens with a product where under the light, it ends up getting really, really hot, and then you end up having to pull out of the light, and then popping it back under the light once it cools. So, that is usually what I'll do for my clients and things like that, just so it won't end up being so, so hot. But I know other questions that I had got uh, about these tips was if... How are you able to even see the, if the extend gel goes all the way to the end? They are clear enough to see where the, the gel ends up flowing to. So honestly, I feel like if you're somebody who needs glasses or something, it might be a little bit harder to see. So definitely make sure you are having your glasses on and stuff. Just because, I don't know, it's like a faint, faint line that you were able to see. But I was still able to see perfectly and I was still able to get the gel all the way to the tip of the nail to the tip of the nail without having a problem which I was happy about that but something I do want to mention when you are using these tips if you apply the extend gel really really messy what will end up happening is that the you will able like because these tips have that little bit of sheerness to them you will be able to see it on top of the tip so Something with these, you want to make sure that you apply the gel nice and neat and you are not being super messy underneath the nail because it will show through, especially if you are leaving it completely nude. Alright, now that I have that in the light for the 60 seconds, I'm just going to go ahead and get ready and get my drill bit. The one that I am using it is a barrel bit. I love these for blending the cuticle, but keep in mind if you are a beginner be very careful just because you can drill into the nail plate and you don't want to do that so definitely definitely be very careful with this because that right angle and depending on how sharp you are are you using these it might end up you might end up even cutting your cuticle and things like that so just be very very careful i'm cleaning up underneath the nails because i did end up filing off camera and i did want it to be nice and smooth this is an extra fine barrel bit I've had this one for a long time and honestly you guys I'm so I'm really impressed I wish I would have known where I got this one at because I feel like it's it's been in such great condition for such a long time but again I do only use it for around the cuticles and kind of to touch up underneath the nails and shape a little bit but now I am going to be rubbing cuticle oil on the nails and I am going to go ahead and go in with a spoon base coat if you guys want to check out this product definitely make sure to check out my instagram i did do a video on this explaining it but if you do want to purchase it it is in my amazon storefront so check out the link down below on my link tree and you guys will be able to find it there but basically what this is is a peel off base coat which you apply it on the nails so if you are trying to content create or anything like that 
you are able to put this down, let it dry for two minutes, and if you need to, definitely on acrylics, I definitely recommend putting two coats, but on gelix, you're able to get away with doing one, but I definitely recommend not buffing it. But with that being said, I love it because I am able to do the nails and it comes out like the peel off base coat, it just peels right off. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. Now what I'm doing is going in with a white in my airbrush and I am just ombre on the white because I want to make sure the color that I am putting on top of this is super pigmented and it looks very very light. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with that and making sure that it is opaque in the areas that I need. I know you guys might wonder why I didn't do my thumb. It's because in a lot of cases I feel like I don't end up I don't end up even putting the thumb in the picture so I didn't really want to waste time with this content creating and put the thumb in there. I know some people they'll wonder like, well what are you what are you supposed to do for it? And in all honesty, it is I I would just do something that's on the other nail, so maybe do an ombre or something like that. I am using this yellow. I am trying to make it like um like a lemony yellow, so I'm putting that in my airbrush now and I am going to go ahead and spray that on and this do having the white base it just basically allows me to have it come out very very nice and neat so just going in and I am working in circular motions and making sure that I am covering all that white definitely with the white something that I recommend doing is kind of leaving the white a little bit lower than what you're going to do with your yellow Unless you have a very, very dark color underneath, then I recommend going where you desire your ombre to be at. But now I'm trying to make them all even so you could see I was going back and forth. And this is how they look. The, the paints that I am using are also in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys want to check that out, they are right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with Nail Central Matte Top Coat. This I've actually really been loving, you guys. Um, the matte top coat is very, very thin and it doesn't bulk up the nail at all or end up running all crazy because I've, I've tried other matte top coats where depending on how you apply them, they will run and they will puddle at the tip of the nail and make the tip of the nail kind of look bulky. And yeah, so this one I've been really happy with. You guys could tell because I've been using it in all my videos. And yeah, so um, I did end up purchasing the Koopa one too just because I want to try that out. I've, it's been a while since I've used that one so I wanted to back bounce or bounce back to that one and yeah so I'm going to put this into the light for 60 seconds. If you are a client and you are putting your hands into the light and you have that thumb done do not leave your hand out like this. Your thumb will not cure and chances are it will shrivel if there is gel polish on there. So make sure when you're putting them in light, you want to get that thumb in there and make sure that it's nice and cured. Because you don't want no shriveling because if you do end up getting shriveling, what will end up happening is in like a few days in washing dishes and all that jazz, your nails are going to peel. So when you're curing, make sure you have that thumb getting towards the light. So basically right now, the way my hand is, is a perfect example of what not to do. In the Kiara Sky lamp, they do have little notches where you can place your fingers. And you guys could kind of see it in the video by my pointer finger and my pinky finger. You could see that. And they have other ones in there as well where you put your fingers in. And basically allows you to know how deep that you're able to go into the light without messing them up. But even if you could do a little bit more with that thumb, I definitely recommend because you could still see that that area wouldn't cure all the way. So make sure that thumb is kind of angled and you will be able to cure it perfectly. And this is what the ombre looks like. I think it came out so cute. I hope you guys love the ombre just as much as I have because lately, if you go on my Instagram, all of my ombres have been done with airbrushing. I've been loving that. I mean, there's been a few acrylic ombres that I've done, but I definitely love this. So now I am going in with this metallic chrome. If you guys watch my Madame Glam unboxing, you guys would have seen this there. And there is a discount code in that video. So make sure to definitely check that out. Usually all my discount codes 
are going to be in the description down below. So if you need to save some money, they are there for you guys. And so yeah, so what I am using to paint on is my Opulence Nail Co. brush. I love this. If you guys are looking for something that you want to be very detailed with, definitely recommend checking this out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do my flames. I like to start off with a stem in the middle and then do that little C thing and squiggle up from the C. And that is how I make my flames. Um, and I do have a little cleanup brush that I will go in and touch up. But I want to go back to the gel chrome paint is that something that I want to mention is when you are using this, you want to allow it to self-level because if you don't, you guys will be able to see the strokes of your brush in it. So allowing it to self-level for a second will definitely give you the best results with this. Now I'm going to go ahead and meet down right here and then I'm going to start to curve and make a little C at the bottom of the tip of the nails. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me work and if I feel like I need to mention any little thing in here, I will go ahead and do so. Right, and now I'm going to go ahead and get my wax pencil and my nail resin. The nail resin that I do get it is from Montage. If you need something that is going to make your stones stay, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend using this one right here. I absolutely love it, and I do also have a discount code for it. But honestly, you guys, this stuff will make your stones last. So, I... I love this and I feel like it's pretty affordable but I definitely recommend getting two bottles of it just because this glue is so strong it always glues its caps shut so that is something to keep in mind. I usually have pliers around my desk so just in case I have to try to get it open but a lot of times what will happen is my bottle will break because you know I'm just trying so hard to get it open and it's just glass. So just keep that in mind be very careful <laughs> if you guys are using the pliers. Um, use at your own discretion so <laughs> but yeah so I love this stuff and I do have a drying spray too if you guys do need that I definitely recommend the one that's in my Amazon storefront that one it has it's a spray I used to use a Mia Secret one but I did feel like the Mia Secret would honestly not make my product be as good as what it was so definitely if you could get your hands on the one that is an aerosol spray that one is the best. The Mia Secret one, I did find that whenever I would try to spray that on my resin, I feel like it would make the bond very, very weak and eventually the stones would come off. So if you have that and you're using that, just keep that in mind. But you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. And if you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you try out this upgrade tips, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Bye!